I just introduced a resolution honoring the National Guard, the 8,500 men and women who serve in our Washington National Guard. Whereas nearly 8,600 men and women of the Washington National Guard continue to serve the country as guardians of American interests at home and abroad. It is truly an honor to speak about our brave men and women who serve not only in faraway places such as Afghanistan, but right here at home when we need them the most. During each of our floods, rescuing our citizens and assisting our small towns in distress, putting out fires that threaten their homes and our valuable timber. It is our guard right now that are defending our airspace from terrorist attack. From the first formation in 1636 to the mountains of Afghanistan and the streets of Iraq, the National Guard has always been ready to fight those who have threatened our democracy. But they are always ready to lend a hand right here at home. Our motto, Neighbors Helping Neighbors, reflects who we are because most of the time you don't recognize them because they are us, ordinary citizens ready to answer the call when needed. Over 8,500 Washingtonians serve in the National Guard, Mr. President, and I have the pleasure of serving with them. It was at Camp Victory in Iraq when, when I first ran into our National Guard, the soldiers of the 81st Brigade. I took notice of their upbeat attitude and professionalism, and it was something that inspired me to join the Washington National Guard when I left the regular Army. I would like to remind this body that there are still members of the Guard, either individually or in small units, that are deployed in harm's way. And when they return, the battle still continues, whether to find a job or going through physical therapy to recover from injuries or trying to fight off the nightmares of PTSD. It is my continued hope, Mr. President, that the good work that we have done here for the National Guard and the veterans will continue. And it, I would like to thank this body for allowing me to present this resolution and hope that you will vote for its passage. The President would also like to recognize in our gallery Major General uh, Gary T. McGonagall, Assistant Adjutant General Washington Air National Guard, Brigadier General Brett Dougherty, Assistant Adjutant General Washington Army National Guard, and of course, all these amazing uh, men and women, members of the Washington Air and National Guard. Would you please be stand, please stand and be recognized by the Senate. <laughs> Senator Hobbs. Uh, yes, Mr. President, a point of personal privilege. Please state your point of personal privilege. I just want to, um, um, I know that I'm going against the rules here just a little bit, but I just want to let the Sergeant Major know that is in the audience that I will get my hair cut this afternoon so that I'm in regulation at tomorrow's drill. He's watching. I thought it was cut. I mean, I don't know. <laughs> It's a great day today. Uh, we're going to have them go around the Capitol and meet the different legislators. We have a luncheon this afternoon to meet with the different soldiers uh, and, and matching them up with their legislators. So this is a great day uh, for them and for the state of Washington.